Yo, what's going on, Rockets Nation? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today to talk about the Houston Rockets. And today we're going to be talking about how the Houston Rockets are surprising everyone. The Houston Rockets are 3-3, three and three, and they're at five, a 500 record for the first time um, in, what, I, th I think it's a 1,000 something, over a 1,000 days. The Rockets haven't been in, uh, had, haven't had a 500 record uh, since 2000, February 2021. And... Um, last time they had a 500 record is when they lost to the San Antonio Spurs. I think it was February 6, 2021. They lost to the San Antonio Spurs 111 to 106. Uh, and I think John Wall had like 22 points, something like that. Um, that was the last time the Rockets were 500 and got into a record of 11 and 11. So yeah, um, now the Rockets, what, three years or almost three years later, uh, near three years later, are three and three to start out the regular season. Three wins in. The, keep in mind they started off zero and three. They've won their last three straight games against the Hornets and the Kings twice. Um, and I don't want to hear the excuse about Darian Fox being out. I'm. I, I can speak for all Rockets fans, other NBA fans, other potential Kings fans. Stop making the excuse of Darian Fox being out because. It, I'll understand and I'll accept it if the Rockets beat the Kings in a competitive game and Darian Fox is out. Okay, like I'll, I'll give you a for instance. The Kings were without Darian Fox. Um, I think it was, was it Wednesday? Uh, it might have been Wednesday or maybe it was Thursday. No, it was Wednesday. The It was Wednesday a couple uh, days before the Rockets played the, the Kings for the first time. And it was the Kings' first game without Darian Fox. Uh, it was Wednesday, um, whatever what, what are the Wednesday was. It was the, the day the Rockets beat the Hornets, uh, 128 to 119. And the Warriors won 102 to 101, and Klay Thompson hit a game-winning shot. For that game, you can make the excuse Darren Fox is out because you lost by one point. But when you lose first game 107-89, you lost by... Uh, 18 points, and at one point you were down 20 points. And then the next game, at one point you're down 40 points in the ball game. Um, you lose by 25. You're down 25 at halftime. You're down 37 going into the fourth quarter. At one point, down 40 points. You really can't make the excuse about Darian Fox anymore. Rockets playing are playing good team basketball right now. I just want to go over some team stats. The Rockets are are looking really good with team stats. Points per game out of all teams, they're 19th ranked in teams with teams and points per game. And keep in mind, uh, they got off to a rough start with points per game to start off the game, to start off the season, because uh, their first game, they only scored 86 points, and then their third game of the season, they only scored 95. So now they've started to score more points per game. Their last three games, they've scored 128, 107, and 122. Um, and they're also 12th in field goal percentage of all teams, and they're 8th in three-point percentage uh, with 30 plus, 38 plus percent. They're 28, they're, sorry, they're 20 in defensive rating, they're 10 in assists per game, they're 9 in turnovers, and we're not talking about the bad turnovers, we're talking about the good turnovers, the least amount of turnovers per game by a team. They're 13th in, uh, def in, in you know, defense, and they're 13th in offense. It's a, lucker, it's a lucky number 13 ra rating. Uh, it's, the, it's, it's a lucky number 13. The defense are, they're number 13 in defensive rating, and they're number 13 in offensive rating. Um, and so for team stats, which a lot of these, a lot of these numbers, and I can confirm three-point percentage the Rockets were dead last in last year at the end of the season last year they were not, they were the worst three-point shooting team in the NBA and some of these stats they were the worst in the NBA as well I mean some of these stats they were not but um you know the for a lot of these stats they they were and they're playing great team basketball right now and that's why they're top 10 in assists per game they're playing team basketball and I'll go over to some of their player stats and you know the, their best player so far has been Alperen Sengun. He's averaging 18 points per game with 9 rebounds per game and 7 assists per game. Uh, you can basically maybe argue that he's averaging a triple-double. He's improved on the things that he struggled in last season. Last year, he struggled in 3-point shooting, defense, and committing fouls. And he's improved every single... Um, he's, he's, he's improved every single... 
categories of that. He's improved defensively this year. He's been way better on the defensive end. He's even shot better from three with 33.5% from three. And he's only averaging 3.2 fouls per game. Jalen Green's been great, too. He's averaging 18.2 points per game, four rebounds per game, three assists per game, shooting 37% from three. Jabari Smith Jr., 14 for seven. This three, this three young, the three young core for the Houston Rockets are looking really well. They're meshing really well together. The new additions are looking really well, too. Fred Van Vliet, 16, 17 points per game, eight assists per game. It's 8.2 assists per game, and that's top 10 in the NBA for players. Uh, four rebounds per game and shooting 39% from three. And the other big addition, Dylan Brooks, bringing huge impact on the floor for the Rockets defensively and offensively, averaging 16.3 points per game, five rebounds per game, over one steal per game, 1.3. Even against the Hornets, had a career-high five steals, shooting 57% from three, which is uh, good for sixth in the NBA uh, out of all players. And he's shooting 59.3% from field goal and 93.8% from the free throw line. And also, a guy who's been a really big impact to the Rockets off the bench, Jay Sean Tate, averaging 6 points per game, 4 rebounds per game, 1.3 steals per game, a half a block per game. Um, and also shooting 54% from 3 in the NBA, which is also, I think, like ninth or uh, ninth or ninth or 8th in all among NBA players. So this Houston, these six guys are playing great basketball for the Houston Rockets right now. And I also want to mention that they are also doing all this without one of their best defenders and one of their best rebounders and a great scorer in Tari Eason, second-year player from LSU. So keep an eye out for the Rockets. They can keep playing like this. It's going to be dangerous. Um, I, I'll say this, that uh, right now for the Houston Rockets, uh, you look at their next three games, all at home against the Pelicans and the Lakers and the Nuggets. I want to mention that the Lakers tonight against the Lakers, I'm going to that game, they could be without Anthony Davis. The Pelicans will be without CJ McCollum. That would be like a playoff atmosphere on Friday because it's going to be an in-season tournament. Uh, Sunday, the, they'll play the Nuggets without Jamal Murray. I think the Rockets could get at least a win or two in these next three games. If Anthony Davis doesn't play, I think the Rockets, even with Anthony Davis playing, have a chance to beat the Lakers. If Anthony Davis is not playing for the Lakers, I think the Rockets beat the Lakers. I think the Rockets probably beat the Pelicans. I think the Rockets do lose to the Nuggets. But right now in the next three games, I'm thinking the Rockets either go 2-1 and one or 1-2, one and two, which with those three opponents, it's not bad to go 1-2. and two. Um, So in these next three games, which ultimately would be nine games into the season, I see the Houston Rockets either being at a... A uh, five and four record, or at worst a four and five record, which is not bad. Um, so that's the video. If you guys enjoyed, let me know your thoughts and peace out. Go Rockets.